Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how you can embed your Quizlet activity into Canvas. So that way kids don't even have to leave Canvas to complete the activity. You can, however, give kids a direct link to your Quizlet activity. That is fine. You do not have to embed it, but here's an option for you in case you're interested. So inside of Canvas, you just need to be wherever there is the rich content editor, which is this thing right here. You can find it in a discussion, assignment, a quiz, a page, and for the quiz, you can find it in the directions box or the question itself if you are using the classic quiz. So I'm just in a page for an example here. I've given my students some directions. I'm going to click and have my cursor wherever I want to have the Quizlet appear. Now I'm going to go to my Quizlet account and I'm going to choose whatever set I want students to work on. Um, I'll do context clues. I'll click it open. And if I scroll down a little bit, I have these three dots, and what I want to do is choose Embed. I'm going to copy that HTML, come back to Canvas. And again, I want my cursor wherever I want the um, Quizlet to embed. I'm going to come down here to the HM HTML code editor. I'm going to, it's going to put my cursor at the end of my text. I'm going to go ahead and hit and enter though, just to give myself an extra space. I'm going to paste in that code that I copied. And I'm going to come back here and click that icon one more time to switch back to the rich content editor. And here is my activity. Now, if I feel like that's too much space, I can go ahead and click here and I can get rid of some. But let me show you what it looks like when I save it. And this is how it will look like for students. So I'm going to start the game and here I am playing the game right here inside of Canvas. Oops, I'm not really reading so this isn't working very well. But I also want to show you that students can pick the study mode themselves. So they can come here if they don't like this game, they can do flashcards, they can test themselves, learn, match, whatever they want to do. I'm going to click the test here just to show you how it will um, change. They can come over here to options, they can make the whole thing multiple choice. And actually I want to say new test. And now it's all multiple choice. So they have all the features that they would need um, to manipulate and do different things, but it's all right here inside of Canvas instead of sending them to Quizlet. Now, one thing to note, they aren't logging into anything, so this is just practice on their end. You will not be able to see who's completed it, who's done what, what their scores were. This is just practice for the students. If you want to see the student data, then you would need to do it inside of Quizlet with a pro account to get that kind of data. This is just using the free version of Quizlet, embedding it into Canvas so students have it right here in front of them. One thing that I have done is placed a Quizlet inside of a Canvas quiz, um, not worth points, but then underneath it, ask a couple of questions that they would be able to answer had they done the Quizlet. That's kind of my way of just checking in to make sure they have done it. So here is an example of that. I put the question in. I didn't make it worth any points or anything. It's just a text. And then kids can manipulate the type of game they want to play and do that however they want. And then down here, I just asked a couple of questions like, what word keeps tripping you up? Describe how you're going to learn these terms. You know, give me an example of how you're, how you're learning this material. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed learning how to put Quizlet inside of Canvas.